In this tutorial, we'll be talking about how to configure your input and output setup in Pro Tools. Before you can start working in a session, you need to make all of your physical audio input and output connections. And then you need to tell Pro Tools about it. You can access the I.O. Setup dialog under Setup, I.O. Setup. Here's where you can label your input, your output, your insert, and your bus signal paths. If you're using M-Powered, it'll show the routing of your M-Audio interface automatically. You won't need to sort this out through the M-Audio control panel. It'll show up directly in Pro Tools. M-Powered also has some default I.O. settings that'll get you started. You don't need to do anything here except maybe change the names if you prefer. For example, if you have an input dedicated to a direct line, and then a second to a microphone, and you want to be able to distinguish them easily when you access this window. Here I've got my mono line and my mic line. To rename my input paths, I simply click on the tab where the connection is located, then click on the input, type in your new path name, press return or enter, and click OK. From this interface, we manage outputs, inserts, and buses, which are Pro Tools virtual signal routing paths. We can rename these as specific plugins, for example. Let me set up a reverb bus. I'll set up a chorus bus. This makes it easy for me to establish sends. And this concludes our tutorial on configuring inputs and outputs in Pro Tools.